Grace and Scott met eight years ago. Scott admits that he did not, uh, did not want to like her since he knew his family would be moving to Tennessee after graduation, but they started dating four days before graduation. <laughs> Although a thousand miles apart, they still talked every day as clearly no distance could come between them. Late nights on Skype and the occasional visit kept them thriving while the distance between them. I just want you to take a few seconds and look into each other's eyes. Think about the happiness you're feeling in this place, in this moment. Really let that feeling register in your heart and in your mind. Now stop and look out at your family and friends. Always remember that they are here to support your dreams, your goals, your marriage, and the next chapter of your love story. wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company by the authority vested in me by the state of New York I now pronounce you husband and wife Scott you may kiss your bride I'm proud of both of them for how strong they've been throughout their whole relationship. Long distance is not easy, and we, here we are today celebrating their wedding, so what an accomplishment that's been. For anyone who doesn't know, Grace's favorite movie is The Lion King. There's a new song, we don't like the new song, but it's fine. <laughs> um, it's fine. And after the movie, Grace was still super bummed. And we were like, wow, I guess there is only one thing in this world Grace loves more than the Lion King. And that's Scott. <laughs> the younger brother and um, the groomsman. And uh, I, I don't have a glass of champagne because I'm underage and I would never drink underage. So I do have this. A toast to Scott and Grace. Grace.